to be on the road this year. Was that sure. maybe why you put more emphasis on this year, or why it's there's been a difference in terms of you know on the road knowing what knowing what you knew was coming? Well, we knew what was coming. We we already knew the teams. It's it's road games. We've had three out of four games this month. Uh, we knew this month was going to be um, heavy on the road, and that's all part of it. You can't change that. It's, it's in your schedule. Uh, every team we play, road or home, I mean they're they're all difficult, especially when you get in the conference, but. That mindset of being able to get on the road and play and play well and, and play in somebody else's venue and, and have to really handle the travel with you know some guys that haven't traveled before. That's probably the biggest thing. We we try to cover that in camp, how we're going to travel, what the mindset is. So hopefully when we get on the road and we had our chance against Washington State, so we learned from that and we kind of built from there. And you know hopefully again, hopefully our guys travel, they focus, uh, they're ready to play, and you know, that's the most important thing when you go on the road is you want that mindset before you ever get on. Uh, on game day, you know, the day before you're ready to go. I know you got the guys wearing slacks now and stuff when they get on the plane, you know, more of like a, I guess, literally a business trip, you know, dressing a little nicer yeah. and stuff. What was kind of behind that? Yeah, just a little change. You know, it was one of those, um, we had done it before and just felt like that was something, I, I think for our guys too, it's not so much about that that was going to be the, the mindset or the, the clothing that changed our mindset. It's really about these guys are here. They're developing as student athletes. Um, it's a little bit about just kind of them learning to be professional. And you know, you are going to go on a, a trip. You know, it is a business trip. Um, you're going down there to accomplish something, and so there's a little bit of that to it. But even just for their lives, you know, these guys they, they do presentations. Um, some of these guys are doing interviews right now. Some of these guys are doing internships. Um, you know what? They got to get dressed up. That's part of it. And you can't always just hang out in your Boise State football gear and your warm-ups and all that. You know, you've got to go out there and uh, present yourself. And so I felt like that was something, you know, we talked to the leadership group they wanted to do, and, and we liked it. And I think these guys have done a great job with it, and it all worked out. So that's just been something that's just a change, something different. One of the most common questions we get is like, you know, why why doesn't Montel get more snaps? That, that's something that people are always asking. What about what about Brett? Why, why do you know you guys still feel good about him despite the fact that maybe he hasn't been as productive this year as he had in the past? Yeah, he's been pretty good. You know, I know as far as the, you know, you can look at all the stats. The really only one that matters is wins. Uh, so when he's been in there, we, we've done pretty well. And you know, as far as how we mix those guys up. You know, when people say that, I mean, people aren't making those decisions. You know, we are. And we get to watch film every day. We get to watch practice every day. We get to see these guys and be around them every day. So we have more of the answers of why we're, we're playing these guys and the way we're doing it. With, with, I was about Des Williams was a guy who played a lot you know, early on. And, and then you know, it seems like Call has been playing a lot more in that spot. What, what, what's going on with Des? And, and, or is, you, know, you mentioned last week that it seems like Call has maybe just been playing better. I think Call is just playing better. Mm -hmm. um, you know, again, this is... This entire season, uh, in football in general, it's always competitive. So, you know, guys get better. And, you know, that's part of the deal. So, I think both guys have been working really hard. And I think Call has just done a really good job. He understands the plan. He works hard every single day. Uh, hard work doesn't go unnoticed. And that creates opportunities for him. So, he's really gone out there and done the work to create those opportunities. And when he's been in the game, he's making plays. Um, so, hard to take a guy out that's doing that. You look at uh, the first four games in the season, you guys were averaging about eight penalties a game, which ranked 95th in the country. And look at the last three games, you're averaging two, which is third in the country. So was that an area of emphasis for you guys? And why has there been such a big improvement there? Yeah, I think I told them to get a penalty, you run a mile. So everything <laughs> got reemphasized. No, it's, it's, you look at every factor in the game. You know, what are some of the, the key factors? Turnovers, field position, you know, being able to run the ball, stop the run. And then you start looking at penalties, which, when it comes down to it, they're not always the deciding factor. But when you do it in, in critical situations or you put yourself behind the chains, whatever that is, uh, that was an area like the critical errors that becomes part of it. And, and you look at it, you make a point of it, and you, you start looking at the numbers and saying, hey, we're averaging this many critical errors. What if we eliminate? What if we even cut it in half? How much better would our drives be? And so you get what you emphasize. I think the coaches looked at that and just said, we need to limit some of these, we can do a better job, and especially those pre-snap penalties, holding some other things. Uh, we, we get the reports back every week, and you know, some of them that we argue were right on a lot of the times, and that's just how it is, but we can't change that in the games, but we can control the pre-snap penalties, we can control the way we respond out there, if it's a personal foul of some kind, we can control those things, so whatever we can control, we're really trying to work on.